Alright guys, this is just a little fast forward of uh, what this stick will look like. It just has a uh, bezel, smoked buttons and ball top with uh, Toodles chimp board and the Sparky PVM board LED controller. Um, just doing this just uh, for our lessons learned. Um, some things you may want to note is wiring. Um, yes, the way I did my wires um, were zip tied to the panel, um, but it was on the far most right side. Um, it is better to have them in the middle because it's kind of hard to close the top. Um, some other few things are the ways that you can uh, drill holes in your buttons. It's probably best if you um, pre-install your buttons and um, drill your buttons from there instead of just holding the buttons by hand um, and drilling. Um, it can be unsafe. You, you can get hurt. Um, I didn't get hurt, but I'm just saying for for warnings and whatnot. Um, same with soldering. Um, soldering, you, you can get burned if you're not sure what you're doing or you know an amateur um, as I am I guess um, one other thing to note during the install is make sure you read and know all your information um, or else this will be a long install for you um, it's better to go in prepared for a project than unprepared so again just go on shuriken.com or any uh, stick forum site um, out there um, and just read the instructions, read tutorials, view the videos that uh, Purple Arms has on YouTube, on his YouTube channel. Um, those will be uh, greatly beneficial and it will speed up the process on your install. Um, I guess those are just the main things. Um, only other thing I can say is uh, if you want you can have some extra buttons like one or two just in case if you mess up on your drilling um, that can you know you won't have to have any lag time uh, ordering another button from someone so just a heads up on some things that you know I could have did better on this stick but the stick was just for my personal use and yeah just a guinea pig so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna yank some of this stuff back out and change the stick again since the stick has already gone through two transformations so um, thanks again for watching and hope you like what you see again just this video will be a overview a very you know brief overview so if you want greater detail again just read the forums um, or uh, watch Purple Arms channel on YouTube and he has the in detail, in depth uh, install from beginning to end. So again, hope you guys enjoy and happy modding. Alright, hello guys, this is uh, Mufasa 2, otherwise known as Eric or the Mufasa. This is just going to be a brief overview of a uh, install of Toodles Chimp Board, the Sparky. The archives too, and just some button and ball top install. So you have your some, uh, black bubble top here. You have your smoked Sumitsu button. You have the archive too. I don't know if you can really see that that well, but archive too. Then you have your Sparky board, which is a LED controller for those of you who may not know. There are a number of ones out there, so you have a lot of options. And then this is the Toodles uh, Chimp board, which will allow you, if you have a 360 PCB, you can now play on the PS3 um, auto detect. So let me go ahead and get ready. And here's the MVC 3 stick. This is your knife before shot, so this is when it looks back. Alright, so what I have here is the Toodles Chimp board, which will be the first part of the install. So, as you can see 
from left to right you have your directionals, um, your USB uh, wires that go to the uh, Xbox, and then you have your buttons on the top, 1P to 1K, which are grounds, and then on this side you have your start and select. Um, and other various inputs. Again, um, for further detail, just look at the instruction guide that is shipped with these guys and it will tell you everything you need to know. Um, and it also has this nifty uh, USB port so that you can just plug and play if you wish. Um, so, to get started, one of the things you have to do is the easiest way to get in is to take out these six screws right here. Um, this uh, can use why well, I have the tool that came with mine so I have a little nifty um, wrench but it's only six of these if you wish to go that route if, if you don't just turn on the back and just use a little Phillips and you can take out all six of these on the back and removing the warranty sticker which obviously by doing this uh, you avoid a warranty <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the top off, um, disconnected the buttons and disconnected the joystick. Uh, so I will go ahead and install the smoke ball top right now since the top is off. So in order to do that, again as you know there is a portion here that you have to hold with a flathead screwdriver. And I'm going to try and do this without dropping the camera. Alright. Pretty much hold in place. Once you break it, um, break the grip, it comes off pretty easily. And then it just comes off. As you see there, then you install your new ball top. A little harder than usual. There we go. Can't do it on an angle like this, so. And then once you get it on, again, place that flathead screwdriver right there. Continue. To get it nice and snug. And there you go. Now you have a smoke ball top installed. So I'm going to go ahead and wire up this chimp board. And once I do that and test it, then I will go ahead and move on to making the LED buttons. Alright. 